All right, yeah, man, Sketch Pad, we back. Make sure you like, subscribe to the page. So today, we're going to react to something a guy said about women forcing men to be deadbeat dads. So we're going to get back to it. So let's go, man. Who raised you? bar was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh you need each other what yo i can't, can't understand it neither i'm just ahead of it all right yeah man we back make sure you like share subscribe to the page hit the thumbs up button if you like the content make sure you hit the notification bell too because youtube will not notify you and you won't see our content so we're gonna get right into it we're gonna go right into this video and then we're gonna come back and discuss let's go i'm gonna get a lot of backlash about this post right but there's a lot of dads out here that are not dead beats right but the bitter baby moms make it so unbearable to co-parent with these women to try to raise these children that they are pushing the fathers out of these kids lives right and we get a lot of unrealistic people that'll say shit like no matter what she does it shouldn't affect your relationship with the child let me tell you something i am a black man out here in society it's hard enough just being a black man making it to work and coming home without getting shot and oppressed by police and all the other demons that's in, in, in the environments that we live in now not only do we got to jump through the hoops of being a black man out here in society but we got to come and have a war with you as well just to do the right thing by our kids let me say this once and for all our responsibility is the kid. We don't have to give you extra money for you. We don't even have to act like we like you. If the kids are old enough to make the phone calls, then there is no reason for you to be involved at all. Take your emotions out of it. It's about the kid. And when you do this nutty shit and this bitter shit and you're worried about who he fucking, who he seeing, who's at his residence, what girlfriend he got, what chick she, he got around braiding your daughter here and all of this weird shit, that's where the confusion comes in. Let these men that want to be fathers father their kid without you being a fucking headache. Stop pushing these black men out of their kid's life. It takes a village. And little boys need their dads and so do little girls. Yeah, man. Um, He's absolutely right, man. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing, man. And I know a couple of people. I met a couple of guys who their baby mothers use the children as a weapon against them in any type of capacity so this way they can feel like they're in a power position it's very sad that women do this and from here from right now i'm going to speak on black women because i don't know any white women that does this you know what i'm saying that i'm not saying that they don't i'm saying all the experiences that i had was with black women doing this to black men. You know what I'm saying? As far as the uh the uh keeping your kids away from now. When women say that men are deadbeat dads, right? But the man is trying to be in the child's life. You can't say he's a deadbeat dad. You can't. I think that a lot of women, especially single black women, they have this sense of entitlement when it comes to their children. Because society has made it, made them feel like they are in a power position. Women in general, but for black women, they feel like they're in this power position to control whatever goes on with the dad. So if the dad wants to take the child to a game he and she knows that that game means so much to him and he wants his child to be there with him, she will block that. She will block it. Because she don't want the child to get close to the father because in her head is one of two things. She don't she so-called says that the child will be disappointed by the father. So a lot of women do that. They'll be like, oh, well, I don't want my child to get close to him because. But then they'll say on the flip side, they'll say, well, you never come around. You never want to see your child. 
You never want to do this with your child. You never want to do that because you did that. You pushed me to that. All this goofy shit that people say when it comes to, oh, you should never let a woman uh, make you not want to see your child. It's not that the man don't want to see his child. He's trying to keep his sanity. He's trying to keep himself from getting in trouble. Whenever somebody, it should never be an obstacle course to see your child. Mm -hmm. It's either the doors open. You, my baby dad, here you go. Take your child. You could take your child for two, three days or however long we're going to communicate. Let's have a great relationship. We're going to raise this child. We're going to give them the best. We're going to do that. But it's always this fucking obstacle course that's in front of men. Even the good men who are really trying to be in a child's life is always this fucking obstacle course because women want to be in this position where they where they're in control or they have this power that they feel like they can over over control the whole narrative or power over you. They have this power over your head like, well, I know he needs this, so I'm going to do this because he got a new girlfriend and I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is the issue that a lot of men run into. And this is why a lot of men don't go around to see their kids because nobody wants to put up with that. You going you going to create a you creating a, a trap for me. And then when I don't want to participate in the trap, you try to tell me that I'm wrong. And you know exactly what you be doing. I'll tell you a quick story before I'll let you go. I know this girl, right? <clears throat> Constantly put her baby dad through everything. She's just, just like, yeah, I, I'm, I don't care. It's just because I don't care how he feel. Because she got mad because he caught her cheating. He broke up with her. And she got mad because he cheated on her before. And she got mad because he wouldn't give her another chance. So they was messing around still, but he wouldn't get back with her. She got pregnant. Now, I'm not saying that that was her fault that she got pregnant or his fault. They both lay down together. So it's both of their fault. So he told her, he said, look, I want to be with you. I don't want to be with you, but I'm going to take care of my child. Come to find out he had another girl and he really liked the other girl. So what she did was she tried to break them up when she had the child, everything she can, everything she did to try to break them up. They didn't break up. She even sent the girl pictures of him in the bed with her and everything, but the girl stayed with him. So after she had the baby, she couldn't do nothing. So she told him, I don't want my child around that girl. So he's like, well, we've been, this girl been together for a year now. You know, I, I don't care. She went to court. Didn't tell him that she didn't tell him that she, uh, you know, because she told him that told the court that they were still living together. Like not that he was living together, but he was still living at her house. So she ends up getting the papers from the court because she went to file for child support. But the papers came to the house, her house. You get what I'm saying? Because she said mm -hmm. he was still there because you can do that. Right. Ends up mm -hmm. that ends up ripping the papers up. So he didn't even know he was on child support. So months go by, he gets pulled over by a cop. He got a warrant for his arrest. He's like, why? Now the whole time, he's talking to his baby mom every day. She never told him that she put him on child support. Not one time. Never said nothing. So this guy gets put on child support. Don't know. He gets locked up. The cops tell him that, you know, he has a warrant, whatever. He goes to wherever to the station or whatever, and they tell him that he, he's, he's, he has a warrant for back child support He like back child support What are you talking about I see my child every day my, my, Nah she has her own child support for like Four, five, six or whatever months Didn't tell him So when he gets locked up He gets out of course and he goes back to her And like yo what Because I told you To keep my son away from that So since you gonna hide something from me I'm gonna hide something from you and this is the type of reason why men do what they do. This is the reason. Because you got a, a female who know that this is detrimental to her child's father. Which means if something happens to him, he won't have a father. 
because women have gotten to this point where they feel as though that they're the father too. They don't need no man because that's what society has told them. So I know that was a little long rant. I'm sorry, everybody. I just had to keep it going, but I'll let you go, man. Nah, man, it wasn't right. It's very informative because uh, that's something that happens on a regular basis. Maybe to not to that standard because that was kind of extreme. Like you ripper, you you filed for child support, got the guy on child support, got it mailed to the house, and then you got it ripped up. That was extreme right there. Like, yo, you could get arrested for that. You could get put behind bars for that. Like you really tried to put this guy in the dirt. That's crazy. That is crazy. Like, if I ever heard any other female do something like that, bro, I would never, ever want to be around that female ever again. Don't even come talk to me. Don't even go try to befriend my wife. Just stay away from us. That is terrible. Why would you do that? Oh, my God. Man, listen. Like, everything that guy said in the video was 100% facts. Like, We've said it time and time again that the man is getting devalued. Men are becoming devalued. That's exactly what it is. So when you see things like men going to other countries and residing there and not coming back to the United States because these other countries are valuing the men, that is the reason why. That is part of the reason. First of all, when you keep the father away from the child, you're not hurting the father. You are hurting the father. Let me rephrase that. You're hurting the father, but you're not hurting the father as much as you're hurting the child. The child is going to be the one hurt the most because at the end of the day, if you continue this trend when the child gets older, the child is going to look back and say, Ma, you kept me away from Dada. What was your real reason? What was your real reason why you kept me away from my father? Oh, well, you yeah, such and such didn't want to do this and do. But I found out that he did do such and such. You just didn't want him to come see me. And you know what happens after that? That child turns all that hate that he had for the father, he turns it on you. He turns it on you. And then you know what happened? You're on his shit list now. His or her shit list. That's what happens. I've mm -hmm. seen it. I've mm -hmm. seen the mothers do stuff like that. And then it turns right back around on them because of what they did. That's some spiteful stuff. Mm -hmm. Women don't do that. Don't do that. It don't matter if you're not getting along with your boyfriend, one night stand, whatever. Don't do that. Because you're doing that, you're setting the child up for failure. You're setting yourself up for failure. Because when the child comes out and knows the truth, you are going to be held accountable. And trust me, the truth will come out. It will come out eventually. Mm -hmm. It will come out. Man, that's that's terrible, man. It is terrible. I, I, I um, I was uh taking somebody somewhere, and they were sitting in the back with their uh with their daughter, and the 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 mother said to the daughter, "Did you?" Uh, she said, "Did you wash your face and brush your teeth this morning?" So she said, "Yeah," and she said, who, 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 She says, "This is what she says to the daughter. What was your dad doing?" Oh, he was in his room. He was in his room. Was he, was he alone? I don't know if he was alone. I just know I got up and I heard him say, go wash your face. He had a door closed. He said, wash your face and, and um, brush your teeth. He said, so the mother said, yeah, he probably has somebody there with him. And he didn't want you to see. And he said, then she said, 
but you got to make sure he said, no, she said, did you put on any lotion? And she was like, no. And she got mad and was like, you got to make sure you wear lotion because your dad is not going to, he's, he's not the type that listening. He'll have you walking around being crusty. He's not the type that would actually, uh, that would actually care whether you wear lotion or not. You're, you're a young lady. You should make sure you wear lotion. And she went on for like 20 minutes about this lotion that her dad should have made her wore, like wear. And in my head, I'm saying this is poor parenting. Because first of all, you don't have a conversation with your daughter about what a man should be doing. You should keep that to yourself and say, um, just make sure when you're at your dad's house, where, um, ask him for some lotion. But you're saying your dad will, don't care. He will have you walking around crusty. He don't care. So you got to make sure you you do it. So she's setting her up. Basically saying like. In life, men ain't going to do nothing for you. You got to do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. it might sound like it might be microscopic now, but. It's a seed that she planted that's going to grow eventually and it's going to haunt that girl for the rest of her life. So now it's going to be a repeated cycle. She might not say the same thing to her daughter or her son or whatever, but it's always going to stand out now because now she's going to feel like I don't need my dad to do this for me. She didn't explain. She didn't explain it to her in a way where she basically told her like, hey, you know, as a, as a young lady, just make sure you wear lotion. She said, no, your dad don't care if you wear any lotion. He'll have you walking around crusty. That's what she said. So basically, she blamed the father for the girl being crusty. So now if she if the girl goes out the house and forgets lotion, you know, she's going to blame her dad. She's going to say, well, you let me come out looking crusty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's what I mean, like what, what he's saying in this video is is a hundred percent true. Mm -hmm. For some reason, women feel like, especially black women, they feel like they can't. Not all of them, obviously. Just make sure I tell y'all that it's not every black woman, but the ones that we're talking about, they feel like they can't have this. It, it it's like a language barrier or communication barrier that they have with the father, and they have to keep it that way. Because a lot of women, and I swear I'm in this because I could go on for days. A lot of women love the fact that there's problems because there will always be conflict because people are comfortable in chaos. They love conflict. They love it. They love it. They won't get past it because it's boring. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing to argue. You can't call your friends up and tell them, oh, let me tell you about this because that's exciting. You ain't going to call your friends up and say, my baby dad is the goat. Let me tell you what he did. No, you calling them up. My baby dad ain't shit. Tell you what he did. You know what I'm saying? Because you're single, tell you, you got to be bitter. Yeah, let me tell you a story. So, um, years ago, I say maybe like five, six, seven. No, 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 man. Way more than that. Way more than that. All right, I'll say about a strong. All right, I don't remember the years, but years ago, you know what I mean? Um, I was dating this one chick, right? And um, everything was cool. No problems, no arguments, no nothing. You know what this girl told me one day when we was out eating? She told me that I'm too nice, that she almost like wants to like create some sort of issue to see how I'm going to react or how I'm going to spark up. Like she wanted to create an argument. That's what she told me. So I said to her and I said, why would you want to do that? And then she was like, well, because I'm so used to being with chaotic men and men doing this and men doing that, but you 
your upbringing, your everything was just so perfect. You know how to say this, you know how to do that. I said, wait a minute. First, I said, first off, right, like, I'm not a chaotic person, so I'm not going to uh, appease an argument just because you want to argue with me. You understand what I'm saying? I said, I have a problem with that because if we, let's just say, if we was to stay together for a great amount of years, you know what I'm saying? That means if we got a nice, quiet household, you gonna always be trying to pick a fight just to see where you can take me to as far as my anger level. Why would you want to do that? And this is the problem that I have with women of today, modern day women. They so used to these dirt bags that you try to characterize everybody. Mm -hmm. You try to characterize everybody. So now you're devaluing every single guy because you decide to pick the dirt bags every time. Oh, he's too boring. Oh, he's nice, but he doesn't do this. Or he doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. And then you get the same situation. You go get the nice guy. The nice guy does what he got to do for you. And then you break up with the nice guy only to put yourself in the situation that the young brother was in when it comes to baby mamas. Mm hmm you know that what you the story you just told i'm gonna tell you women like narcissistic machiavellian and psychopath psychopathic men there's the center of that you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. the dark tribune tribune that's what it's called they like the mm. center like the three there, circle, circle, circle. It's a perfect match in the center. They're attracted to that type of behavior. Mm -hmm. If you're too nice or if you stand on the side of nice or, or being pleasant, it scares the hell out of them because they feel like if you're to the left or you're too pleasant, you more to the right because you're really a psycho. That's how they look at it. Because you're so nice. You're so nice. If he goes off, he's going to kill me. You know what I'm saying? So what they do is they want to see if they can get you to go off. Not to kill them, but just to see how you will react. But that's one. Two, if you are really, really like a person, you're really in love with a girl or whatever. A lot of times they hate it because they don't really love themselves that much. Mm. And they always trying to figure mm. out why the hell do you love them so much? It's like, why mm -hmm. do you love me so much? Mm -hmm. And another thing too, they could be doing something behind the scenes that you don't mm -hmm. know about. And you being nice and naive, you ain't even being naive, you just being a genuine person. And mm -hmm. they know that they are, uh, uh, they know they ain't, they a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? And this mm -hmm. is why they can't stand men who are really good to them. You know what I'm saying? They want some type of game. Women like men that they cannot figure out. It's like a, a, a jigsaw puzzle to them. It's like if they figure you out and you tell them and you already completed the game and you say, hey, I'm going to put you here and I'm going to do this for you and we're going to do this. Look, I got a plan. and Let's do this. They like, oh, no, uh-uh. No, I can't. I nah, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. But if you be like, I don't know, man. I don't know what we. Sh so what are we? I don't know. I mean, sh so you talk to other girls. I mean, I mean, like it's always a question there. They love that. It's not the. I'll take it back. It's not that they love it. They intrigued by it because it keeps them guessing. If you already mm -hmm. tell them everything. Mm -hmm. They don't. They they basically just be like, "Well, I know everything already. <laughs> like, there's nothing to figure out." So well, this is why you have the culture that we living in with these dads and these these uh uh 
the the women who put themselves in this position because they like chaos. Like that's why you've got a lot of women who are from foreign countries. They want a man who completes them. You know what I'm saying? But the women here, they want a man that they just can't figure out because if he tells them the truth, they hate it. If he doesn't tell them the truth, they hate it. You know what I'm saying? They just like that behavior. So, but it's crazy, man. And the, and the, and, and the moral of that story is what I just told y'all. The moral of that story is that that girl that I was dating years, years ago, <laughs> she ain't doing so hot right about now. Of course. Simple as that. Of ain't doing so hot right now. Of course. Of course. And me <laughs> and me is the exact opposite. Yeah. So, so you see, like, that's my point. You know what I mean? So, it com- that's what it comes down to. Because a lot of times people make these bad decisions off of bad faith. And they, they listen to their friends and, their, and, and they listen to people who have this uh, way, of, a way of, of persuading them to go their way. And the guy that they, because it always happens this way good guy always wins in the end always yep. i don't care when they say nice guys finish last they also win the game mm-hmm. they never say that so i would love to be the nice guy who finishes last because the last mm-hmm. person is the one who wins the game you know yep. what i'm saying basically that's how it goes so but hey man yeah. this is a pretty good episode it was long but hey we had to get it off our chest Look, man, we'll be back. See y'all. Peace. Bye.